Hello, in this video we're going to look at some basic lighting in Maya 2016 and also look at how to emit light from an object. So here I have a basic um, solar system scene with all the different planets and the sun and what I want to do is I want the sun to actually glow or emit light and then I want to also um, add some light and specify the direction of the light. So firstly to make this sun glow, I'm going to right click and click on assign new material. And then I'll scroll down until I see surface shader. I'll click on surface shader. Once surface shader comes up, click on the out color, color box, change that to a bright yellow, make sure that it's, um, it's a very bright yellow, high saturation and intensity. Let's click out of that make sure that this bar is turned right up and then go down to out glow color and click on yellow but just drag the bars down so it's a just a weaker um, yellow so it's not a bright yellow just a weaker yellow and um, have that bar somewhere around about the middle um, around about there okay all right now that's the first thing to do then if you go to your render settings so either go to render and then render settings or click on the little icon here you need to scroll down until you see render options and make sure that enabled default light is turned off um, now actually i'll just leave this on for a second and i'll just render this show you what this looks like so I'll go to uh, render preview or render view and oops, this is a different scene, render that. So click on the little render the current frame icon and that's what it looks like so far. So what I'm gonna actually do is go out of that and just turn this down a little bit, that glow. Go back, render it again. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, so we've got the sun here and it's glowing and it's sort of emitting light. But if you look at these planets, there's a little problem here and that, that that, the problem is that the light is all over these planets, so there aren't actually any shadows on these planets. So what we'll do now is we'll go to render settings, scroll down and we'll uncheck enable default light. Click on close, go back to render view, render it again. And now you can see that there's actually, there's not really any light there except for the sun, which is emitting a bit of light. What we need to do now is we need to actually add some light. So we'll click on create lights and we'll select a point light. Now this point light has actually gone to right into the middle here. So it's actually inside the sun, so we can't see it. If we grab the move tool, then we could move it out and you can see right there, that's the point light. But we want it to actually be in the middle of the sun. So it's emitting light from the inside of the sun or from out from the sun. So I'll just do command Z to undo that. So it's back into the middle of the sun. All right, now you can change the intensity here as well. But what we'll do is we'll go back to render view and render that again. And now we can see that um, light is actually coming from the sun. And now there's actually shadows on these planets might just turn up the intensity a little bit there. Go back to render view and render. And it's a little bit brighter, I think. Okay. Um, now, at the moment, this is just on the first frame. But if I went and actually rendered the whole scene and all the frames in that scene into a video or a separate images, you would see that the light um, it's emitting from the sun and the shadows will change as the planets uh, orbit. Okay, now all of these planets aren't actually meant to be lined up like that. It's just how they are at the moment. Um, but it does cast a shadow and it does work the way that I want it to work. There are some other types of lights you can use as well. So if you go to create lights, you can also choose ones like ambient light, directional light, um, we've already used point light, but there's also spotlight, area light, and volume light. I'll show you a couple of the other ones. So firstly, directional light. 
and just move that out from inside the sun. And directional light has uh, arrows. It's got these lines and it's got arrows on the lines. So you can actually change the direction of the light. So you can use the rotation, uh, rotate tool. You can use the move tool and scale tool just to move the light around, change its direction. Okay, um, so that's the um, directional light. If we go to render that. you can see now that there's a bit more light pointing in that direction towards the planets. Okay, and I'll just delete that. Another one that we can use, which I'll show you, is the area light. Now, just grab the move tool and move that again, because it's inside the sun. And the area light is like, it's basically a flat plane like this and the light will shine from both sides of this plane. So if I put it between these two planets here, just move it across a bit, the light should be pointing that way, and it should also be pointing this way. So I'll render that. And you can see here, the light's pointing that way, so it's very washed out on that planet. It's also pointing that way as well. Okay, so that's uh, the area light. So all you need to do is click on create lights and then choose one of those lights um, that will suit what you wanna do in your project. Um, so if it's something like you're creating a sun or you, you have like a light bulb, then something like point light will be very useful, but there's other different lights there that you can work with depending on what you want to achieve. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.